Shalom beloved, our verse for today is the prophet Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16, it reads, Put away the evil of your doings from my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Isaiah at this time was prophesying before the exile in the southern kingdom. The people had relative peace, things were moving well for the people, and they were coming to worship. The problem of the prophet was not that the people were not coming to worship God. They were observing all temple worships and all the feasts stipulated. However, the people were acting against the will of God. We take time to read the first chapter of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was strong in rejecting the gifts, the sacrifices of the people. What am I doing with your offerings, burnt offerings, sacrifices? What am I doing with your feasts, your new moons, your sabbaths, and so on? I abhor them. So the Lord spoke. So what did the Lord want from his people? And that is what he stipulated here in verses 16 and 17. Wash yourself of your wrongdoing. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. We have to observe that the two imperatives here Cease to do evil, learn to do good. They both entail a decision of the will. Cease to do evil. To cease to do evil, one has to sit down and identify the evil one is involved in. And one has to deliberately bring himself or herself out from that evil, a decision of the will, very important in worshiping God. The second one is learn to do good. Virtues are learned. Virtues are learned. And that is why it is very important to teach children virtues as they grow up. At that tender age, the need to learn virtues. If not, it will be difficult for them when they grow up to begin to learn that afresh. However, learning is not left only for children. Learning is an ongoing process. All of us are called to learn to do good. All of us are called to learn virtue. Actually, this is our Christian call, day to day, to cease to do evil and to learn, to strive to do good. How can we worship God if we are comfortable with evil? How do we claim to worship God if we have nothing good to show for it? And therefore, let us pray God today we who are Christians, that we may receive the grace to worship him in spirit and in truth. So shall our worship be acceptable to God. So shall we day to day strive to be true children of God until we are brought to that banquet where every child of God will be with him in eternity. Amen. Remain blessed in the Lord.